Hello and welcome back to the Vasilia Romeon channel. My name is Michael and today we continue our campaign in Europe on Results 4 as Byzantium. We started a war against the Mamluks as soon as they as the peace treaty expired and also we are helping uh, Bohemians in their conflict against the Austrians. Where's that? Let's give it to Bohemia. Uh, I am not doing anything on this front, I don't care. At best I will be protecting our territories. But apart from that, I think if it is possible we should bring this army here. And the rest will do their job in this area. Now let's see just how much I will be able to take from the MAMs in this war. I want to take about this much territory in Syria, uh, maybe the rest of Anatolia. I won't be able to take Cairo though. Okay, what if I leave room to them for now and take... It is important to take Cairo because there is clothes in Cairo and those cost a hell of a lot of money. I can take something like this, I guess. That's again an ugly peace treaty and ugly borders, but we can take only so much. I mean, that's one thing that I find especially idiotic in this game and it is the fact that you can't take everything that you took. I mean, historically it was mostly... Uh, okay, it was sometimes as much as you could hold. But mostly it was as much as you can take, you take. What you don't take is the territories that you simply weren't... wasn't able to take. Like, if for example some fortress was too sturdy and you just couldn't do it. But if you could, you could take it. And nobody would say no. And if they did, you simply fight them harder. As simple as that. Gave it to Cairo, which is great. They are going to Fayum. Let's wait until they block and then we attack them. Here, let's take Fulgonia and then we attack this small stack in here. Yes, this was a stack wipe, which is great. One thing is, we should probably give the occupations to Bohemia here. I don't care much about anything north of this line. The, the, the occupations and let's send this army to Seleucia. And some of them are starting to leave the coalition. These guys left. This wasn't a stack wipe, unfortunately. One thing that we can try to... Oh, we won't be able, unfortunately, to do that. Okay, the only rebels that can work is either the Karamanese. In theory, we can take something like these three provinces, or like four provinces here, uh, provoke Ottoman and Karamanese rebels, sent them here and here, and I mean, but if there will be some war and they have military access, then not even them, but like people around and they can just go through these territories, that would suck. In any case, let's see how it goes. 73... Okay, let's do it differently. Let's take something maybe like this. We can take two provinces here, provoke the rebels, and that will allow me to take more from Egypt. Also, let's see how much we need for that mission. Antioquia and Jerusalem. We need 13. 
in these areas and we currently only control eight so we need uh how many more five we need five more okay i see okay can we take something like that for now yeah that would do Go to Bohemia. And the poor Englishmen are having those problems with the rebels. But that's not really my problem. Take that. Let's go to Trebizond. Now let's see if we can piece them out. Not yet. We can take some uh, some more stuff from them, like I don't know, like Sarai, maybe Atfih. Why not? We lost our army reformer. We should hire. Okay, these are all terrible. Let's actually fire all of them and hopefully get something better. Now let's invest some of our points into provinces. I don't know which ones but just somewhere. Advisor, but he's not of our culture though. Hey, okay, fire all of them. Every single one of them. These can go to Bohemia. Actually, couldn't care less about those territories. Now let us see. Okay, we can get a discipline advisor, which is very nice. Okay, now they surely. Yeah, once we took Tabuk as well, let's get some stability, and they still wouldn't accept a hundred percent peace treaty. Guys, you're literally at 90, you should accept it by now. Okay. Okay then, more admin I guess. It's not like we need it. Let's see how about now, now they would accept it. Okay, great. Good stuff. Yeah, that's ugly borders in Anatolia, but we can hope that our plan would work. And we will be able to provoke those rebels. So the peace treaty just happened, and they took what? Presburg, Mars, Berkoberdens, and Traugau to Bohemia. They will pillage them. Yeah, they took four provinces, I see, that's okay. And we can get Antiochia and Jerusalem. We get claims on Egypt. Good stuff. Now here, there will be two different, <laughs> wait. These are not two different stacks of rebels, they are both Mamlukian for some reason. Because they are accepted this culture. Dear Lord. Why they are Mamlukian? Why they are not Turkish? Why they are not Ottoman or Karamani? This is so damn dumb. And even these are Mamlukian. Like, let's see. This will be Dulkadiri. But all the others will be Mamlukian. Okay, the whole plan went to hell, unfortunately. But at least we have uh, some more of Egypt under our control. What we can do, we can choose break and attack the Mems, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, however, I don't care.
Well, at this point, let's convert it all and more like core it all. Okay, I'll help you this time. So now we can actually give those subsidies to these guys and we will be able to vassalize them. We literally don't care about them. Council subsidies. Then we'll give them subsidies once more. And after the month peak, we will be able to vassalize them. And why can't we? Okay, probably the gift expired. Oh my god, why it requires so much money now? What the hell? A thousand gold? This is crazy. Probably it's because of those uh, subsidies that they're getting from me. They think that their income is way too high, so... Okay. That's okay, though. We have more than enough money. Okay, now we vassalize you and cancel all those subsidies. No way I'm going to pay for that. Yeah, will do. Now when it comes to these two guys, uh, actually loyal there, they are loyal. Let us make both of them into Pronoyas. Let's retract their right of inheritance. And there is a revolt on the Corsica. Unfortunately, our fleet is very far away, but hopefully they'll be able to sail there in time. Some corruption, that's okay. Okay, let's retract their right of inheritance. And let's do the same thing with Perugia. Shall be able to inherit these guys right away. And maybe we should have left them take the throne though. That would mean the, a change of a ruler and automatic inheritance, but okay, whatever. You can't always do everything perfectly, you know. And we probably converted Albania, most of it. How's our garment capacity? Okay, it's not good. I remember there was something about this... Or was it about clerics land rights or emperor land rights? There was something about someone's land rights or was it a government reform? Let's take a look. Okay. It's not this either. Maybe this one? Yeah, it's this one actually. Theme system. It no longer costs absolutism. And will provide 10 force limit. Okay, I see. Hmm, what should we do? First of all, let's seize lands. And then we might want to give the these guys land rights. Maybe also the clerics. 
something like this because we do struggle with our gathering capacity let us core Egypt okay that will in itself allow us to embrace Egyptian culture and that's important because these are two huge cultures in the east which we want to embrace the other one will be tunisian culture do we have any cores here okay only in sfax you might want to do it here and maybe also in tripolitania something like this should allow us to embrace tunisian where's that yeah something like this and thus we have most of Mediterranean covered in a in an accepted culture, which is beautiful. Now we can make more states actually. Okay, which ones we should make? Well, we certainly should turn Roma into a state. That's for sure. And then maybe also something like this. Cordial. Jerusalem, Coriol, after that, I don't know, let's do that, Corit, that, okay, that will be the last one we can do, at least for now, yeah, whatever, let's now convert what we can convert, and let's, if possible, build some of these Will do. I mean, we are doing well and borders are mostly nice, but there are small islands of border go here and there, and well, I don't know what to do about it. And one thing we might want to do about it is simply to, I don't know declare war without peace treaty like breaking the truces and getting more aggressive expansion and so on but eh. when it comes to Wallachia I will actually make them a pranoia but I will not make them hered uh, retractable I just want to keep them as pranoia also how many pranoias we can even have is there any information about this? Doesn't say anything. Like how many of them I can even have? Is there any indication that says the exact number? So what is currently being called here? I do want to do this, even though that will again put us over our government capacity quite significant. Oh my god, that's just so bad. Let's give it to the Cossacks as well. That should bring us almost to government capacity. Okay. I mean, we gave those land rights to basically everyone. It's not easy to govern such a huge empire if you think about it how's our force limit looking how we can even afford it now another and our income is also crazy so here we already have trade station and a workshop and that alone gives us crazy amount of income i'm pretty sure here there was a mission ah uh, well we can only get this mission once we finish that Hmm. That's okay though. Is there anything else we can do? Megalopolis 65, Hagia Sophia tier 3. Then there is a Trebizond workshop or counting house. We can do that. What else? Dardania 
Place production at least 8, development 20. Okay, will do. Let's invest into these ones and let's bring this one to 10. Our, zone, our gold income currently it's 966, so we might want to bring this number just a tiny bit higher, like to 15, for example. And now our gold income is even higher than that. And all that's left to do is to wait for the workshop in Trebizond. I wonder why Trebizond is so important. Will we get gold in there or something? No idea. And let's continue our conversions. Now how the coalition map mode looking like. Well, apart from those guys that are already in the coalition, others are slowly starting to realize that it's kinda fruitless endeavor. Okay. Good stuff. And let's see, maybe there are some other missions we can do. Wealth from the East. Alexander. Okay, so we need to control more trade in these nodes. Well, first of all, we might want to build an actual marketplaces. I mean, there is no marketplace in Alexandria, and it's a natural harbor level one. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Something like that, and we can make it a world trade. Oh, we already have two. We can't have more. That's sad. I wonder why. That's okay, though. Where is our fleet currently? Okay, it's here. We have 21 light ship. Let's send them to Athens. Let's build nine more. Or maybe even more than that. Okay, let's do this. Great. Let's build 40 actually. Or 240. Bring that number to 40, that's what I mean. And then we'll send our voice to protect trade. Okay, so now we can get return to gold. We'll get Master of Mid level 2, that will be cheaper. We'll get two years of trade income. Domestic trade power, merchant trade power plus four for 30 years. That's pretty damn nice. And we do need this guy. Get him to level three and yeah, good. Choose with balance is over. Okay, they immediately entered the coalition. That's okay though. one we should leave but the others can actually do something about it okay, our air is terrible but we will not get another one unfortunately let's hope that his son will be okay We are not the ones who got the global trade. Who was it? Oh wait, it's in institutions. Oh, that was Portugal in Lisboa. That's unusual. It usually happens somewhere here. Or maybe in here. Now we are trading in close, yeah. Now it makes sense at least that we would. 
So we might want to build this thing. We'll get us institution spread and you know agentness. Let's do just that. We can spend some money on it, at least the first time. Now here we already have 28 ships, so we might want to get 20 ships from here and can we get a better admiral this guy go protect trade in Alexandria how much it will give us 55 still not quite enough but if we manage to upgrade these bad boys build some marketplaces and also build a trade station in Alexandria. What's this? Granary of the Mediterranean, okay. There will be a reformed zealots in... Okay, that's subjects for us, not mine. I don't really have much in terms of rebels, so I don't really care about them. But the income is really nice. We might want to conquer um, Mesopotamia. But the issue is everyone is in a coalition, so that's not really an option right now. The rebellion was in England. We lost that admiral. Let's hire one from these guys and he was five manure which is perfect should give us more stuff in here let's see at the end of the month at two percent not great what we'll do hmm what I wonder is we should probably declare war on Scotland for the English claims because why not And when it comes to the institution, it is currently nowhere in the world, so yeah. Okay, so these smaller guys in HRE are leaving slowly. But some other ones, such as these ones, will not leave anytime soon. We already have it in Constantinople, it's perfect. Okay, we are already at 81 in Aleppo. We can improve these ones if we so desire. We can build a marketplace here, another one here, improve. Imp okay, we can't improve, it's too small. We can build one here. Okay, we can do it. Now we can. Good. We can get these two technologies ahead of time, which I would like to do. So, more governing capacity, administrative efficiency, and now we can build some universities. Now, when it comes to states and territories, just how much we've got. Quite a lot, actually. We can probably core everything we have. Surprising. I will not core these ones, though. And the reason is... I will create a puppet state in there in a near future. Okay, we'll do. There's another. Okay, that's exactly this one. And then for now, we can actually add these two to a trade company. We'll do. After some time, we will create a client state of Arabia in there. Okay, okay, okay. It's expensive edict, yeah, it is, I assume.
And let's see if we can actually decrease autonomy in our country. And we can in quite a lot of places actually. Good. Now, with this amount of income, we can easily afford yet another mercenary company. Let's find the biggest one available. Okay, the Mongol mercenaries, they are kind of, shh, kind of bad, but they are the biggest one there is. Others are either even smaller. Also, there is Bukhara and Okay, I'll hire them both. The issue is that their technological level is like fairly terrible. Well, actually, it's not terrible, it's just one tech behind me. And now I'm ahead of time, so they are actually up to snuff. And with these two mercenary companies, it may be the case that the coalition will simply dissolve. There's no guarantee, but we can hope. Also, let's increase the size of this army. What does the current come up with? 30. So yeah, we should probably make something like... Oh, we will be over our limit if we do that. Okay, so maybe we should di disband one of those mercenary companies after all. One too many. That's okay, that will put us at 35. 40, 45, 50. So that will be a 50,000 strong army. Let's see which one of them is better and we shall disband the other one. Why it takes so long for it to be hired though? Where is it? Okay, it's because they are Mongols, it takes so long to get here. Oh, thank you, Manta. I appreciate that. Yeah, Russia, I'm more than happy to give you the maps. Okay, the Pope entered the coalition somehow. I thought you were supposed to leave it. Considering that just how strong I am. So these are 18... 6-6, six, six, these are 21-6-3. Okay, we should disband Mongol mercenaries. And here we should make Commonwealth and Timurids our rivals. Even though it's kind of funny that they can even be considered our rivals still. Okay, let's send them to Alexandria. Other provinces will not be able to sustain such an arm. Okay, is our army actually the biggest in the world? Yeah, it is. By far. The only right thing. Okay, so we inherited Spoleto, which is great. Army von Spoleto. Why it's in German, though? Spoleto isn't a German state. But okay, I guess. I'm okay with Wallachia, but I'm not okay with Salzburg. So, the coalition, the coalition. In theory, and that might sound like a bit crazy actually, but we might, we just might, I mean, it will be somewhat more difficult in the east because we don't have proper forts. Okay, proper fort line in the east. But we have a proper fort line in the west, so we will be easily able to defend ourselves against Commonwealth. Also, it's where it won't be shows. It will be show superiority if we go for Crusade. But it will be very difficult to defend the eastern border. Well, we might want to spend some money to build that fort line. Like here, here. We already have one in Aleppo, we already have one here. Where should we build the next one? We may build one in Sinai, for example. 
something like that would cover this area and then we might want to build one in I don't know like let's build one in Cairo now oh, we already have one in Cairo right yeah we have one in Cairo let's build one in okay in Alexandria we can't have it because it's something else is being built in there but the idea is what if we find someone in this coalition who is not really having that many allies or at least all of those allies are already in the coalition Clemson Fezan Algiers is a member Tripoli probably is a member Clem okay they are all miners so if we say attack these guys show superiority yeah we can bring the whole coalition into war and all we need to do is to simply defeat enough of their armies the only problem that we might encounter in this situation and in this scenario is that our vassals that are usually very useful might keep training their armies and might keep dying needlessly thus ruining the war score but apart from that I don't see any negatives because I used to fight enemies that were like twice or thrice or in four times stronger than I am and I simply utilized this fourth line in here and I managed to defeat them quite easily without any issues they were simply attritioning themselves to death and they weren't having any manpower left and I just swooped in and destroyed the rest so that's that's something doable actually and that will save us quite a lot of problems in the future as a result of that thing we will be able to take say Tripoli Genoa I don't know what else Venice maybe but yeah it's doable we should finish this fort line in here though and yeah after that now since we actually have so much money let's build some ramparts in provinces that are not mountainous like say here here let's do something like this like here Belgrade is mountainous so not necessary and in Zagreb it is necessary something like that yeah that should help quite significantly we would probably have to abandon Italy altogether and simply focus on the Balkans but apart from that the strategy actually quite effective yeah we might want to do that in the next episode for now I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye